Here you go, Pete. I knew you'd want to see. Um, decompressor. This is the uh, the one that was on the machine. It's got a. Let me just see. I turn the light on. Uh, it has a little poppet valve, which is diaphragm operated. So a bit of suction on here from the inlet manifold should draw this uh, valve in, but in this case. A suck test doesn't move at all, just is open to air. Compared to this one, which is off the engine that I kept from the old version I had, put the tube on this and suck, then sure enough, this closes nicely, holds the vacuum, and then when you release the vacuum, it releases nicely. So it is obviously the cause of the problem. Um, trouble is, as you can see, the uh, these two are different. Otherwise, I can't just swap in the the one from the old engine, which is a shame. I'm not sure I can work out how to detach one from the other, but probably not. And it's sealed. The previous versions used to have three clips on on the cover, which let you get to the diaphragm and replace it, but uh, evidently interests of value engineering they eliminated that anyway there you go it's all running now uh, with a spark plug in the uh, decompressor hole instead of one of these and it works fine so that's good i'll leave it like that for now thank you bye